he ended up having to bring like his car over to use the headlights to see the disc so he could get it clean because I'm assuming he kind of wanted to get it clean before the professor saw it because like the professor wasn't there so I'm assuming it's like get it clean before the professor comes back you know tomorrow today whatever yeah yeah I've never had a disc that get that bad but I also don't disc in basically mud you know <laughs> so I've just when it's a little questionable I won't lie I have but usually our dirt's like pretty good and if I can't like knock it with a hammer and get most of the dirt off the disc blade then I just, there's no reason to be out there you know okay so actually our potatoes by the way they're not ready so while we set everything up we can fast time. We can fast time if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. Because if they don't fast time. I looked up a drill. Oof. Oof. I imagine that's not fun. I would imagine that is not fun. All right, so here's the strat, right, guys? I am going to, because I don't want to do a bunch of running with the potato wagons, we'll call them. Yeah, we're in pretty sandy sandy soil. Yeah, exactly, Bert. Yeah, we are. And it's nice. It's nice to have that. It's not like straight muck all the time, you know? All right, so here's the strategy, I think. I, I want to use those tater wagons because they're, quote, more realistic. But then I'm going to dump them into a mother bin. Which is totally legitimate. Totally legitimate, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotcha. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some real mucky stuff around us, too. But where our farm sits... Basically, where our farm sits, if you go north, it gets real wet and mucky and if you go south it's like play playground sand like yeah I had to take it apart to get the dirt out oh my this should yeah this should dump into there okay so it's like right where the farm sits is kind of like the halfway point like right where the buildings are if you go just just behind them it's better dirt if you go in front it's it's worse dirt so like in front of the farm is where there's irrigation. There's um, a water cannon irrigation system out there. Behind the farm, they would never even think about having to irrigate that. So it's kind of funny in a way. Alrighty. That's when you need a seed from a helicopter. Just <laughs> spread it from a helicopter. Let it go. Yeah, two days it would have been fine, yep. Yep. Alright. Give this the old setup here. Give this the old setup, guys. Now, I will have to have a way to empty the bin, but I'm going to let these guys set up before I set up, of course, for that. Or a truck probably probably just use a truck like you know you're supposed to right so okay and those other harvesters don't count yet probably because they're not unfolded or whatever which is fine fold unfold yeah i was telling zach earlier too uh that I really wanted to work my garden up Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. You know, our good old tetanus on wheels. We want to. We, we've rebuilt the drag harrow. Drag harrow, lift harrow, whatever you want to call it. And we've completely rebuilt it. So we want to, like, figure out a few things about it, like our settings and stuff, or like our angles and whatever. And, uh, 
Yeah, I took the harrow out in the garden first because I was harrowing, harrowing the lane anyway. And I just, I was like, no. We, we can't. It was way too wet. Uh, Zai School, I don't know. I think they're mostly plain. But I think they are kind of getting ready because, see, like, they'll grow vegetables and stuff, too. Like, they're supposed to learn about, like, everything in the egg world. But, like, last year he grew all kinds of stuff. And, like, you could plant uh, spinach and lettuce and broccoli and a whole bunch of stuff like that. You could plant right right now here. Like, it would, that stuff would all work now. In fact, back in the day, if we were... If we still had to farm, we would have uh, broccoli planted right now and, like, uh, spinach. We used to grow. We used to grow a lot of spinach. Used to used to grow a lot of spinach back in the day. We used to grow all kinds of stuff, and then we just kind of slowed down, slowed down, slowed down over the years. And then once my mother got sick, we just didn't do anything because we didn't have time. Plus, the, uh, the critters not the farmer are just out of control these days. Absolutely out of control down there. It's crazy. Used to grow strawberries. Used to grow a lot of strawberries. All right, so we can go around this field 50 times. Chat, what are your thoughts? Do we do that? No, because that'd be a nightmare, actually. Never mind. That'd be a nightmare. Secular. What's up? How's it going? Let's go around this field eight times. That'll be twice for everybody, and then we'll we'll do the kind of back and forth like we do. South side, yeah. Yeah. See, we would like if we were to plant, you know, the things I mentioned, we would actually plant them right next to our combine shed because it would protect them in the morning from the from the sun. From you know, so if they get frost, not a big deal. It would protect them. Um from that morning sun. So that would that would really help. That or we would plant like in the garden kind of next to the big shed too. Like as close to the big shed as we could. And uh same thing it would actually protect protect the plants. So Yeah. I got gotcha, you, Bert. I got gotcha. you. I'm great, guys. I'm great. All right, I guess that'll work. I didn't really want to harvest on an angle, but I guess it'll work. That's a lot of lines, guys. Oh, my. So this is this is the harvest where I don't do not hit the little I button over here. Okay. That's the one we don't hit. That's for sure. I got you, Tony. Look at Tony lurking. Look at Tony lurking. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if we plant next to the combine shed, which is where we used to grow all that stuff. And actually, that's a good place to grow turnips too, because it kind of protects, kind of protects the turnips in the in the fall then too. And that uh, always kind of helped out too. So, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Architect, what's up, man? How you doing? Tony, I really wish you would have been around the farm, like back when we were growing all that stuff you know like if you were a little older and we would have known each other you know what i'm saying like you would have loved it 15 to 20 days i got you they had a big story on the news here the other night and our 
one meteorologist was like, yep, go ahead and do this and this and this and this. And I was like, okay. Yeah, right, Zach? And actually, that dirt's so, like, wet out there just all the time. You may have trouble doing tillage all year on that. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome in. Long time no talk. Okay. How's it going, bro? We're getting ready to start this leg fest. I mean, potato harvest, guys. Just need to wait for him to grow. Yeah, definitely. Zach, uh, Zach did some learning yesterday. Nothing like learning on the job, right, Zach? very dark. Yeah, Mr. Professor, I'm just uh, fast time in a way right now. I could go sleep or, you know, my theory was, like, go ahead and set some stuff up while, you know? I just will set some stuff up while I'm fast time in. It's kind of my theory. I, I know, I can't stand playing in the dark. I, I don't like it, but... Man, hey, Bert, I literally told him that earlier. It's horrible because, well, you guys plowed last year, right? And you're plowed sod, so. It's going to be horrible. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I literally told Zach that earlier. I was like, that's, you know. Get you some dirt. If it clumps up, stay out of it. It's too wet. Yeah, it's called a dead furrow, I believe. The little ditch you're talking about? I believe that's what it's called. I haven't plowed in a while, so I don't know. I actually kind of miss plowing. You know? We used to plow the garden every year. Um, but we don't we don't do it anymore. Yeah, Zach, I would agree with Bert. Let it dry, and when it gets dry, then try to level it. You guys have a harrow? Bright fire? Me too. Me too. Love it. Love it. All right, let's, let's see. This guy on there, and then they sh they did show. Two of them showed up. Why did only two show up? Now we'll have to come back and set those up once we get them going. We'll have to see. I'm talking a harrow, not a culty pack. What's a what? No, just a harrow. Like a drag harrow. You can go buy one at. Harbor Freight. I don't know. <laughs> like Northern, I don't, I don't know if Northern, but just a, like a, like a, like a, like a harrow, a drag harrow. That's what you need. Just a regular old drag harrow. One of those, like you can roll up. Yeah. You don't want to pack it. A harbor freight. No, I don't mean harbor freight. Like a redneck store one. Yeah. Although I like okay, so I did go out in my garden on Sunday with the uh with our harrow. I did one lap. I drove out and I did a circle and drove right back out and I was like, Nope, done, too wet. And that was with our three point hitch harrow. So just give it time, man. If anything, I would go at it with your cultivator, not your disc. Because a disc, it has to be dry. A cultivator, you can you can get by with, you know? You can get by with a cultivator when it's a little wetter. But you still shouldn't, you know? 
a disc it needs to be dry so yeah you have a middle buster too good for digging taters we uh we have a middle buster that we added some like fingers on to the sides to kind of sift through the dirt and we used to use that to dig potatoes okay i need a semi like the only thing i'm missing here out of this whole operation so let's get it let's get it Ugh. But yeah. For sure. Yeah, unfortunately, Bert, they're talking, uh, so I'm sure, I mean, you're not that far away, so you know. They're talking a ton of rain. But yeah, if we don't get it, I would try it like next Friday, Zach. Okay, so again, just kind of, I maybe I need to find you a link of like the harrow I'm talking about, like a drag harrow, you know? Should I Google one right now? Hang on, we'll talk to Google. Drag harrow. There you go. Gotta love. I love Google. I love Google. You can just talk to it, and it'll just like find what you want. Who? What's that? I kind of want one of those from Zorro. Love Zorro. Well, that's kind of nifty. It's not what I was talking about, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'll get you a link, Zach. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Yeah, I want to put a disc on my four-wheeler. That's what I want to do. Something like this. Northern Tool. Northern Tool. Wow. Actually, I don't want to post that link because it has where we live on it. Never mind. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. You just want me to come out and tell you what to do, Zach? Okay. Let's see, you have a small tractor, so you don't need anything, like, big, you know? You don't need anything big. Something like this, Zach, is what I'm thinking. If you want to, like, level, something like this would be pretty, would be pretty good, you know? Something like that. That's kind of a link, but yeah. Something a little like that, you know? Hook out to the draw bar on that little tractor and just send it. your hometown oh i would oh okay i got you okay it's all good i found one on tractor supply that doesn't have our town on it so or actually it might <laughs> it's okay it doesn't though because we don't have a tractor supply by us so oh man yeah something like that zach is what i'm thinking just uh but you do have to have some loose dirt to make that work you know you do have to have loose dirt to make that work. That's not going to make loose dirt, but you do have to have loose dirt. I want to get a road grader. That's what I would really like to have. But, you know. It is what it is. And I'm just looking at, looking at implements here. Just looking at implements now, you know. Your professor should know what, like, a drag hero is, you know? He should know what a drag hero is. You shouldn't have to show him. He, he ought to know. I'm just saying, if he doesn't, man. I, I don't know about, about him, you know? Just throwing it out there, Tony. But he ought to know what, what that is. If you talk, say drag hero, he should, uh, he should definitely know what that is throwing that out there this thing would be kind of cool to drag behind the utv 
that we're getting problem with these things is like some of the stuff that you see on like tractor supply or whatever they're so cheesy you know and of course i don't want to spend like a million dollars on a like a road scraper oh my god there's one on amazon what oh it's for dragging like a baseball diamond okay yeah okay kind of makes sense and but yeah i would i would think uh your professor would know what a drag harrow is you know no i'm not saying you have to buy that specific one i'm just saying something like that you could go up to uh uh well i don't know who they're approved to buy from but there's the red next door is all half of those zach Yeah, that'll work as well, Bert. Yeah. Yep. Professor made one out of a chain. Yeah, I could see that, Mrs. Professor. I could actually see that, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Get you one of them sheds delivered. Wow. Interesting, Zach. All right, Tater's gonna be ready today in game. Hopefully, probably not, right? But yeah, definitely need something to drag around because that that's really gonna get your level, you know. That's gonna get your level. I can't tell you, Zach. When we used to plow, you know, plowing makes it pretty rough. How much time I would spend out there with the harrow? Mostly I was playing, but I would get the garden very leveled out after plowing, you know? Playing. Why don't you like that idea of a shipping container? You'd probably have to insulate the ceiling so it didn't drip on you in the... Condensate and drip on you. Shed would be better, yeah. But it could be done. Shipping container would work. They're kind of ugly. There's all kinds of places um, you can buy the pre-built sheds and have them delivered. I don't know if Lowe's and Depot is the right place to look for those, but I know uh, like Tough Sheds, that's one of them. There's all kinds of those places around. There's one right out here, next exit on the highway, Zach. Like right up past the uh, driving range, you know, that place. You guys could probably find one there. Nice, Frank. Nice. Did I use the disc with the harrow? I have done that before, Zach, where I pull both, yeah. I have done that. Yep. The only time I would use the disc and the harrow is if I didn't have any loose dirt. If I had loose dirt, I would just harrow it. If I didn't have loose dirt, I would have to pull the disc to make a little loose dirt to be able to harrow. So. Well, that's a problem. That's the problem. Falling on a budget. I got it. Yo, have it. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey. They're, I thought they were withered for a second. I was like, no, red's bad. No, ready to top. Ready to top. Let's go. We'll just wait for it to get a little bit brighter. Oh, excuse me. Man, I'm great habit. I'm in need of some thumbs right now, but other than that, I'm good. I actually made breakfast for myself today, you know? Yeah. I treated myself today, you know? <laughs> yeah, they do have them on display. They do. But I've looked at sheds before and I thought I, well, I made, maybe I didn't look at home. Might have looked at a different place. But I swear it was like a kit. It wasn't the actual shed. But I could be wrong. But maybe you can get them assembled. Not sure. 
Not sure. All right, let's go ahead and stop time. But they do have some nice looking sheds, yes. Yes, they do. And a little shed would actually be really cool out for like Zach at his school there. Because like, you know, you guys could customize the inside and kind of, you know, get like a little workbench maybe for working on stuff. You could have like different tool storage and you can like build the racks out in there. Like that's all stuff in a way that you guys should be learning too, you know? Does that make sense? All right, Bert, we'll catch you. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> you just want me to, like, just run your... Maybe I should just be your professor, Zach, you know? <laughs> Maybe I should just be your professor, Zach. <laughs> I mean, he can handle the book part, and then, like, when it comes to, like, the, the field smarts. Oh, what set of, set of streets. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. The welding. Oh, I loaded the wrong course. I loaded the auger wagon, quote, course for this thing. What am I doing? What am I doing? See, that's what I said, Frank, the other day about uh, uh, the hoop barn. The hoop hoop, uh, hoop house they're putting up. They should have had the well, like the metal class work on that for them, you know? I don't know. It shouldn't really be a learning path for the professor, though. That's what I don't understand, Zach. How, why is the professor, like, doesn't know anything? You know? That's what I don't understand. Like, how do you, how do you get that job as a professor of a college course in ag and, and you don't really, I'm not trying to be mean, I swear. I'm really trying not to be mean here. But like, you don't know what you're doing. I just, I don't get it. You know, I understand it's a new program because you're probably going to say that, but like, you're the ag teacher you should you should know how to like work up a gra piece of ground you know well then he's not a good teacher if he's just leaving you on your own <laughs> do i even course play no fire i try not to you know what i bet i loaded the wrong course here too didn't i i didn't even load a course here what am i doing what am i even doing I didn't even load a course. <laughs> I definitely don't course play. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, if your college class has ever wanted to learn how to course play, I've got them. <laughs> oh man that'd be a scary thought right there i should probably get some more uh wagons going before i get too many harvesters going huh um let's see now there's only one showing up i'm so now there's more okay we need that guy and that guy and that guy. We got to change all these too because we're going to have to put more on here. There should be four, you know? Yes, I will teach you all how to course play. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yeah, that's not really like learning, Zach. I don't. Please don't actually talk to your professor about that, okay, Zach? Don't do that. Good afternoon. Arbitrary, what's up?
I mean, I kind of like, I kind of agree with the off hands approach. Like, you know, Hey, I'm here if you need me type thing. Maybe, I, I don't know. But at the same time, I feel like there should probably be at least some level of instruction going on, you know? Just throwing that out there. I don't know. All right, Bert, we'll catch you again. <laughs> Oh, I forgot outside rounds, guys. Outside rounds. Outside rounds. They suck. Outside rounds are evil. Let's remember that. <laughs> Finishing work, getting back to SnowRunner obsession. Love it. Love it. All right. I forget everything is so slow when you're working on this, you know? Everything is so slow. These things unload slow. The wagons unload even slower. Crazy. Hey, buddy. What are we doing here? All right, I forget it's course play, so it wants to try to drive and unload. Same time. Oh, buddy, buddy, second buddy there. What are you doing? Wait, right, these things go turbo speed, don't they? Can he empty into the other guy? Oh man, if he could go just a little bit farther forward, that would be amazing. Throwing it out there, llama. What's up? The Snowrunner obsession is real. I kind of want to play Snowrunner right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> like. I actually thought this morning, I was like, I can play SnowRunner today and not feel bad about it. Right, Mrs. Professor? There does. There needs to be some level of instruction, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's why, like, even Zach, like, uh, you know, having you do stuff at the farm back when you used to come down there, it's like, you know, I could, not trying to, like, toot my horn here, Zach, or nothing, you know, but, like, you can tell that you're a sponge ready to absorb information, you know, and I, like I said, I don't, I don't mean a sponge in a bad way or anything, you know, but you're just ready to absorb information, and, uh, I, I never have had a problem like teaching people. I just, you know, it's, hey, let's help help you out. Let's learn you something, you know? I don't, I don't mind it. Like when I used to let people drive the 995, like say on pumpkin day or whatever, it's like, hey, wanna learn how to drive a tractor? Let's go. Let's do it, you know? All right, these guys are not gonna go on course play for right now. Actually, I really need to get that fourth harvester going to keep everything synced up, don't I? Not that I can keep any of them empty, but it would be nice to keep everything synced up here. You know what I'm saying though? Like, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lagging. That's kind of messed up, Zach. You were told to look up a video. Oh. Wow, Zach. I get that you you know you like the guy whatever that's fine but to tell you to YouTube it why are you even going to that building then because clearly he's not teaching you anything you know what I'm saying why even go 
Why, why are my tax dollars going to that crap, okay? I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. <laughs> why are my tax dollars going to that crap? Oh, look it up on YouTube. No. No, that's not, not how what should be happening. You know? It's not like us trying to make our first TikTok, you know, Zach? <laughs> we tried making the OSHA violation TikTok that day at the farm, and we had to YouTube how to make a TikTok. <laughs> we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> then why do they have the tractor and, like, the outside ground if the guy doesn't know anything about it? That's what I don't understand, like, at all. I mean, they, I don't know. He doesn't know, Frank. He's not going to know. You know, he's not, he's just not going to know. And there's nothing wrong with Zach not knowing because, you know, his professor's not teaching him. <laughs> that was a funny day. I just remember, like, giving you my phone and be like, just figure it out. And you, like, sat on the lawnmower. <laughs> you just, like, sat on the lawnmower and, like, YouTubed out how to make a TikTok. <laughs> Oh, no, that's funny right there. Tell you what, like, when it comes... To, okay, so he can do the book and, like, some of the stuff, and then when it comes to anything with the tratter, I'll I'll come and, like, be your professor, okay? We'll, we'll tag team it, you know? Maybe I, I'll, I, maybe I should just teach him. You know? It's kind of funny. Uh... I got you. Big Grant, huh? Well, they definitely need to get somebody in there to help them, you know? It just sounds like they need somebody that knows at least a little bit about what they're doing. Even if you had a, a retired, like an older farmer, just come in like once a month and help you guys with stuff and then just be like, hey, now this, you know, do this before I get here next time. Or whatever. That's almost what you guys need. It's just like a retired guy that would come in and volunteer like once a month, twice a month at most. You know? Okay. Now all four of them are showing up at least. That's good. That's good. Gonna change all of our wagons now. All four of them are finally showing up. Okay, and I think I do want it to go to the first waypoint every time. Well, tell you what, Zach, I'll just have my tell my daddy he needs to come and uh, start volunteering at your school like once, uh, once or twice a month. You know, because that's honestly what you guys need. You just need like an older, retired guy that has some free time come out there and literally volunteer some time and to help you guys, you know? <laughs> actually, he's very busy on Wednesdays, Tony, but you know, very busy on Wednesdays, actually, Tony. Actually, let's go ahead and load this course on this one, too. We'll go ahead and load it up just... So if I want to tell it to drive to the and get emptied, I can do that. Load it up, 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 load it up. Actually, he'll probably be going back to work here soon on Wednesdays, Zachary. Probably going to start working. On, well, I don't know, because he keeps talking about wanting to slow down at work. Yeah, that's what they need. They need like an older retired guy, maybe that lives in the area, even like real close there or even from down by the farmland, like. I'm in once or twice a month and, and, you know, volunteer a little bit of time here and there, you know. Oh, I got you. He's probably busy teaching his own class. <laughs> you know, he's probably busy teaching his own class. Why is he going to teach your class too? On his job. Most likely. I'm never going to keep these empty, am I? There's no way. 
going to need like 800 wagons to keep these guys empty. Like legitimately 800 wagons. My goodness. Wow, Zach. I mean, the bearings, they can take some dirt. You know, they're sealed bearings. So the likelihood of one time you leaving it dirty, um, it's not going to hurt it. You know, one time, nah, you're fine. Oh, he was the one that came out when you're plowing. Okay. I would say plowing's a nightmare to get it, especially on a, on a fully mounted plow like that. Kind of a nightmare. Kind of a nightmare. But yeah. But one time it's not going to ruin it, you know? Yeah. Just saying. One time's not going to hurt you. So I'm thinking I need another set of four down here on the south side to try to run. I don't even know because they're not running on course play for some reason. It's kind of the problem I ran into last time. I couldn't keep the auger wagons, whatever these, whatever you want to call these. I couldn't keep them running on course play. They just wouldn't like work. Like they'll go in empty just fine, but they won't like go. True, Zach. I, I, yeah. I bet you did, actually. I bet you did. All right. All right, go. Let's see. Oh, this one's actually coming out in the field. Whoa. 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 Why aren't these other ones? Why aren't these other ones? Got all four selected. I still kind of think it's it's the old like if they're not moving kind of thing, they need to be moving. That makes sense. And then of course plays like, oh yeah, I should probably go to him. A little bit of an issue here, huh? A bit. Need to let this sit a little bit, you know? Need to let this sit. Okay. Uh, so it is, uh, it's, it's me. And then I'm using a mod called course play. The mod called course play is great. Sometimes. <laughs> My streaming full. Oh, I don't work on. No, 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 no. I've never worked on the farm. I've never like farmed, not a farmer. Um, so So that's a that's a that's a lot long question long answer my dad grew up on the farm okay my grandpa farmed i don't even know what year my grandpa started farming but he farmed until 1995 he had an auction in 1996 sold all his equipment off except for like the tractor that you see in my starting and outro thing the 995 so we have that i grew up gardening like a lot not so much farming. Never sold any of our produce or anything that we grew. Gave it away to friends and family and stuff like that. Um, I've never lived on the farm. I've lived in town all my life. We live like 20 miles roughly from the farm maybe. 15, 15 to 20 miles. I'm not going to tell you exact. Somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, so I've never actually been a farmer. I'm a gardener. I've never farmed. 
So when I talk about like a farm, it's it's the place my dad still owns five acres of the old family farm. Okay, so it's it's the farm my dad grew up on, and he owns five acres of it. Um, if you're actually interested in watching like some content from the farm, go click on the YouTube channel, maybe after stream or something, and look up the playlist on the farm. There's like 160, 70 something videos that we filmed from the farm. These just aren't working. These just don't work. You know? Uh, but there's a whole bunch of videos that we filmed from the farm. And, um, yeah, so I'm not a farmer and, and I don't, yeah, but it's a good time. Yeah. See, he should have an idea of what he's planting by now too, you know, just saying. Um, so why is this not working? These things suck. Have I said that? recycle this one see if that helps so i actually used to cut grass um that was my thing i actually used to cut grass so i cut a lot of grass i started cutting grass when i was nine years old totally legally don't worry uh aiden this field's around 400 acres i believe that we're uh, harvesting here I don't think that's a mod on 19 anymore, is it? It used to be a mod on, and back in the day, the tab mod. I don't know if, or vehicle, uh, vehicle group switcher. I don't know if that's still a mod or not. To be completely honest. Uh, if it is, I don't have it. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but yeah. All right, so these things clearly don't work. Can we all agree these things don't work? Can we just all agree these don't work? Is that a possibility? We just, we just agree these things don't work. Somehow that one did work. That one did work. He like went out and did his thing and came back. It's probably this guy here. This guy works. I don't know why. None of the other ones work. I have another idea though. I will, I will beat this harvest and I will use course play to do it. Okay. Just throwing it out there. I will beat this harvest and I will use course play, but this is not the way. This is not the way. Okay? Not the way. Just saying. The group switcher? It is a good one. Hunter, I'm going to go play SnowRunner now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is not the way. These stupid wagons are great looking, but they just don't work. There's just something about these in course play that just doesn't get along. All right, I got to go shut all those guys off because they're going to aggravate the ever-loving tarnation out of me i mean look how far around the field we've we've actually gotten like not even halfway around yet you know got them all down put all their pipes out we're gonna get them all empty and then we'll reset our course play with a different with different stuff okay okay Oh no, he drove in the river, didn't he? Oh no, I think the fence broken. I think the fence broken. I think he drove in the river. Oh man. No, I will beat it by using course play. The fence drove in the river. The fence drove in the river. We can't do anything with him. We have to reset our game, chat. We have to reset the game. He drove in the river. This field, with the shape of this field, if they're down here and they're trying to go up here, 
straight line drives you through the river, through the water at some point. So we had this problem down here on this field, and I fixed it, but I can't really fix this field because there's a bridge there. I could just square this up, but this is my last harvest on this field, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but we literally have to... Uh, we have to reset the game because I can't... I bet you... I can't even... There we go. I can't reset him. He's on course play, and I can't reset him. I can't do anything with him. And then when we load the... Uh, when I load the map back up, he's going to be in the homestead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they have garlic. Ooh. Sell the fat. It won't let me. It's on course play. It won't let me. Yeah. I've had this happen. Yeah. Nah, we're good. We're not gonna play Snow Runner. Not gonna play Snow Runner. Just got. Oh, hey, you can see my background. Look at my background. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> I think my game just crashed too. Trying to. No, there it is. Background's beautiful, right? Come on. Game. Game. Thank you. <laughs> I got you addicted to Snow Runner. Man, how many you guys playing on PC or like what? Because not gonna lie, half the time I play on PC like Snow Runner, I could use an extra hand, you know? So as long as you guys are like, you know, watching the stream and able to hear us, uh, yeah. It is a great game. It is really a good game. Yeah, Mrs. Professor, I saw that the other day. And I was just like, I have to. Alright, Tony. Alright, Tony, we'll catch you. You're on PC? Nice. Like, hey, you're over 14. Come in our team suite and get to know us. And like, you know, we could use a hand on SnowRunner from time to time. Not gonna lie, it's a good way to like earn money to take back to your own map too. Like, playing on somebody else's map is a, is a good way to earn money. See, here it is, guys. Look, told you. Told you. Didn't mean to go so high there, but yeah, to <clears throat> told you. <laughs> I told you guys uh, it was gonna be in the homestead. Don't know what happened there. We're going to go ahead and take some more tractors, too, because, uh... Actually, you know what? We're here at the homestead. We might as well stay here at the homestead, actually. I'm going to have to buy new wagons of some kind, you know? I think what we're going to do... Because here's the thing. I don't want... I don't want to have to drive the tractors like, a super far away. You know what I mean? I don't want to use auger wagons either. Let me go wrangle these other tractors back up. Because we're going to need... We're going to need them all over there. You know? So we'll go on a little convoy. Little convoy! We're on PC. Awesome. Like I said, guys, you never know. Dude, can you imagine me going on? They'd have to build everything custom for this fat guy, you know? They don't send fat people to space. There's a reason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you're just starting out nice. Nice. Yeah, because, like, we, uh, like, last night, there was a bunch of times we could have used another set of hands. It's all good. Was that a fat joke? <laughs> no, 
Oh, he's the fucking heavy. <laughs> nah, man, they're gonna need a starship. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh man, can you imagine how much that lot that seat would cost? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get to the ISS and be like, so where's the Taco Bell? <laughs> Y'all have any freeze-dried pizza? <laughs> like, that's me, you know? he has got some, like, baked ZD up here, you know? Like, what do you, what do you got? <laughs> How about some chalky milk? You got any of that? <laughs> oh, man. Right? Right? And I don't necessarily know that, like, you know, him knowing what bushings his three-point hitch implement's going to take is going to help him later in his career. But, like, dude, the professor should know that kind of stuff, you know? Like, either you you know the stuff or, or you're not the professor of the egg stuff. Or, like, maybe you just don't do the hands-on, like, stuff, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I just... It feels very strange to me that, like, a professor doesn't know what he's doing you know I'm just okay anyway I'm done I'm done ragging on Zach's professor okay yeah I'm just I'm just kind of done you know kind of done talking about it so I just wish there wasn't Rona times and like that could come to the farm and learn a lot you know Trent what's up I just you know ready for Rona to be over which it's probably never gonna be but anyway yeah, because then Tony could come to the farm and learn a whole lot. And I feel like he has learned a lot at the farm, at least I hope. I mean, true. But he should at least, I don't know. He shouldn't tell kids to look stuff up, you know? Exactly, Mr. Professor. That's, like, not professional, I would venture to say you know I feel like that is not a professional thing to say big boy Jake what's up what's poppin man how's it going like I just feel like that's not a professional thing to say you know exactly alright so we have one two three four Five, six, seven. We need one more tractor. I need one more tractor. We get to eight tractors. That should be plenty over there, right? This is going to be a crap show, guys. Just get ready for this. We, well, what we're going to do is we're going to get eight. We might only use four. Okay. We'll get eight. May only use four. Doing some farming. What map you playing on? What map you on? What? Trent? Hello? Alright, so we'll get eight. Eight. So the plan would be some kind of tipper. And then we'll just put a bin over there, right? Would be a good tipper. I think this one will work. Those things hold 60,000 liters. This is 2,500. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like the biggest one that pulls potatoes. Those, of course, don't. This one would move it, but that's that moves everything. That's uh, 52. That's 52,000 liters. That would actually be that would actually be pretty good. Mod test map. Interesting. All right. That's cool. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. I feel like that's a modded trailer, but it's not. All right. We need eight of them. One. Count with me, chat. Two. Three. 
four, five, that should be six, seven. I'm not even sure anymore. I lost count. I lost count. We're going to reset them all too, okay? Don't feel like driving over there. Do not feel like driving. <laughs> all right. Reset them all. There's not a lot of room over there to re like to uh, take that many things over there and hook up, you know. There's not a lot of room over there. Holy crap! I think I bought too many boys. <laughs> did I buy? Did I actually buy ten? <laughs> I, I was not counting. <laughs> uh, I did buy ten. <laughs> when might need more? Might need them. You never know. I guess Trent. I'm so glad our 995 doesn't have that crap on it, you know? Don't have to worry about that stuff, you know? Uh, I'll follow me. Oh, that's kind of funny. I can put one in the JCB, yeah. That'd get me up to my eight tractors. Like I said, I'm only going to try to use four. Don't think four is going to be enough, so we'll have eight. That may not be enough either. I don't know. It, there's probably going to cause more problems than it's worth, though, you know? That's probably what's going to really. Of course, I can't tab to anything that's in the yard, okay? Oh, come on. I got too many tractors. Too many tractors. Yeah, so we'll try to use a couple. I think the strat is like go out with the semi and get them all empty. Or maybe I go with the with the follow me conga line. Actually, that's probably the strat, right? Go with the cop, the follow me conga line first. Get them all empty. Then get some on course play. Then try to start a harvester at a time and hopefully they'll run. I will not be able to unload into the mother bin. I will have to do something different. So I have two options um, for unloading all of these. One, pull it up over here. Actually, let's look at it on the map. So I have a bin up here in this cluster of equipment. So this is the field I'm harvesting. So that's quite a run. If they're all the way down at the bottom, I have to drive all the way up here so what i think i might do is put a bin like a grain bin which i know potatoes in a grain bin i know what i'm really tempted to do is run four of these on the north side and then run four of them out of another bin down here on the south side or like somewhere down probably over here and run two bins and then just empty the bins with trucks later that's what i'm tempted to do so that hopefully, you know, by not having to run as far and actually get done. Because I really don't want this harvest to take like 84, you know, 85 hours. And actually, that's something we'll have to do because I have to redo that course over there. So we'll we'll go to the first one and see how long it's actually going to take. Just if it never stops, how long is this harvest actually going to take? It's going to be um, forever. So... Yeah, so the mother bin will be uh, not used anymore, basically. So. There is a couple mods out there, I believe, where it's like a drive through or drive or like a backup thing. You'd back up to it and you could dump your your tractor that way or your trailer. Um, and that is an option, but I don't have it downloaded, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't have anything quite like that downloaded. But something like that would definitely work. So. It would be very slow, though. You know? Be very slow. Any good maps for PS4? Ooh. 
Not sure. Chat, let us know if you do. Let us know. Oh, that's a fertilizer rod. Limer. Limer. I've been using those lime anyway. All right. This is Fenton Forest 4X by Stevie. What map this is? All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Okay. We'll go with eight, guys. It's got to be a laggy, laggy, laggy. That's the other thing. I don't know if I really want eight tractors running on file on course play trying to uh, pathfind because that's super laggy. I'm going to try to stay with four. The Millennial Farmer map is on console, yeah. Again, for like the eighth time. No, so I'm technically, I'm in single player right now, but I do have the mod turned on that's called course play. And I have a mod called follow me, which is what this mod is right here. Um, this is called follow me. So like, I'm not driving this tractor, right? But it looks like they're moving. I always forget to check their cruise controls and make sure they're turned up for driving like this. What else is moving at speed? Okay. So this mod's called follow me where they're all following behind me. And then the other mod that I, I use is called course play. And we'll, we'll kind of tackle course play here in a minute, or I'll be setting up some more on there here in a minute. Oh no. Cause a fantastic map, by the way. Welkers is a great map as well. If you haven't played it, check that one out. And then actually millennial map. I have not checked out personally. I have not looked at it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about replacing this series, this map with that one. Uh, when it comes back out on PC, it's not out on PC yet. Apparently it's coming out maybe like the end of this week, early next week. So, but if it's working on console, it should definitely work on uh, PC. I would assume so. Yeah. So I'm trying to harvest potatoes over here, guys. And I was using the conveyor like wagon thing. Like you would actually, oh, I, that's right. This tractor's way faster than those base tractors. Um, conveyor wagons, like you'd see in real life, kind of like an auger wagon, but for potatoes, but horse play doesn't like them. And so they wouldn't work. So I've decided to switch to tippers instead. And I have eight of them. So and I only try to use four. If I end up using all eight, then I use all eight. Whatever. Here, actually, let's take a bridge photo while we're here. There's something about these bridge pictures I kind of like. Let everybody get caught up here. Oh, we have stuff gapped out too far, though. Well, that one's not gapped out too far. That's not going to work. Too much of a gap between all the stuff, which is a better way to run course play. So you don't, or follow me. So you don't have stuff running over each other like it just did there. So there's that. All right. So like I was saying, I think I'm just going to put a bin up here. I'll just plop down a bin real fast. Um, I have bins that hold everything. Again, perks of PC farm some. You can just, you know, hey, I need a bin. Go get you a bin, you know. And not just like an in-game bin that only holds 200,000 and doesn't hold potatoes. No, no, no. I have a bin that holds everything and it holds 700 million liters. So there's that. We will rotate. Might as well put that on the field side. Thinking just like that. All right. All right, so now we will. I actually, I kind of want to go do the like empty brigade real fast. Actually, here's what I need to do though. I need to swap these tractors. That's what I need to do. Okay, so I just fire basically fired the guy behind me, so he won't run anymore. 
All the other ones are going to go get up behind him. It, it works best if you have your slowest tractor in the front because then you can't drive away from your stuff. So obviously the case tractors are slower than everything else that I'm running here. And that's how far behind it's going to stay. So now we'll drive it. We'll run back to that front one. Do, 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 do. Bucks County, huh? Interesting. I will say, guys, with like course play and follow me and all that stuff, it is a different way to play farm sim. That is for sure. It is a different way to play farm sim. And uh, I really like it. I really like, I kind of like the managing stuff more than actually like, and I, I enjoy driving in the field too, but I like managing. Uh, it's because I had them set too close. So if you notice there, I, I can hit shift here and I can move that guy around. So actually, look, I can make him go over there. So this is how I plant too. I run follow me on, or yeah, planters on follow me. And so I set a planter off to each side of me, you know? So, yeah. They do run into each other from time to time, though. Absolutely. Gotcha, Trent. That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. I hire them all, but they're my only helpers. <laughs> <laughs> to play to play the way that I play farm sim on a 4x map which I, I really enjoy 4x maps so this map's you know four regular maps put together um you really need like some of these mods you don't need course play but follow me is pretty handy course play is when you get course play working it is fantastic you just got to get it to work right first you know, if you can get it to work correctly, it is a fantastic, fantastic mod. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to stop here and we'll get this guy empty. Actually going to take two wagons is the problem, but. So I want to start with all my harvesters empty. So when I restart here, you know, we've only been struggling with this for like 50 minutes now in this field. So not bad. Not bad. Actually, it's been longer than that, I think. Anyway, so our guys will get caught up. Actually, we want him to set back a little bit more. See, and ideally, they won't crash into each other. <laughs> ideally, they don't. But sometimes, they definitely do. That's okay. I mean, it's not like they're brand new wagons or anything that we're just smashing. Oh, he's actually empty already. Okay. So now we'll drive to the other ones. They'll all follow me exactly where I drove. And uh, we'll be good to go. This field is just massive, though. That's our biggest problem, is the field is too big. Especially for potatoes. I don't know why I agreed to do this. What an idiot. <laughs> this is actually the last thing I'll be harvesting on this map, are these potatoes. I'm, uh, I'm basically done with this map. I'm ready to move on. The only thing I'm really going to be doing after this is, uh, well, saving the game. I have a potato washer and potato steamer over here in field the 43 that I'll be running some of these potatoes through. Not all of them, but some of them. Oh, we're having, of course, player follow me problems back there. They're getting blocked up by that. They think they can't get past the, the guy here. Yeah, now he fell off following me because he got too far behind. That's the only thing. If you get too far behind, they fall off. They lose, they lose the track. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, after I get this field done, I will be steaming and or washing and steaming some over, over yonder there. And then I have to have a massive sell party because I have not sold crop on this. Um, I've not sold crop on this map in probably six months. I've, I made all my money off trees. Other than the obvious, uh, 
it steams the potatoes. So the, the washer washes them, steamer steams them. Now you said besides the obvious. Uh, if you go into the, the store here, I think they're worth a lot more money. So like regular potatoes are worth 13, 1300. And if you come down here, washed potatoes are worth 79 and steamed potatoes are worth, worth, worse. They're worth 93. So if you go from 1300 and then you just clean them and they're worth 79 and then you steam them and they're worth 93 right now. And that's actually maybe not a good price. I'm not sure. I would say that's probably a decent price, but I don't actually know. So that's uh, it's a huge difference. We used to do it a lot back in farm sim, like 15. We were constantly doing it. It was fun. Um, I'm mostly doing it on this map as like a throwback nostalgia type deal. Uh, just to be completely honest, that's kind of the uh, strategy. So... I needed to plant potatoes and then for some reason this field came to mind and I don't know why I'm doing it because it's way too big. But if we get this working the way that I want it to work, this will be magical. <laughs> right? Maybe they do. I don't know. Potato sale. I don't know. All right, so now since we're on follow me, we're going to pull up kind of slow here because we want our next wagon to empty. Uh, that guy, and actually, I'm going to bring him forward with the follow me itself here because I can just bring him forward real slow. So now he's emptying. So, yeah. No, so actually, currently, I have zero harvesters running. I have no harvesters running. I'm switching from, um, like, an auger wagon type thing, a conveyor wagon. I'm switching to these tippers. Yeah, so I'm going to be setting up everything back up here in a minute, basically. I'm kind of in the in-between uh, stages. I want to run four harvesters on this field. That's the strat. But I can't keep them empty, so I couldn't... I was using, uh, it's the Ropa. I was using this thing right here and it, in theory, it's awesome in multiplayer, single player. If you're, if you're actually running it yourself, it's pretty cool. It unloads a little slow, uh, but other than that, it's a great mod and, uh, it's just the course play doesn't like them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of setting, setting stuff back up. So just kind of bear with us and, uh, We'll get back to it here in a minute. See that guy's blocking again. We could produce produce a lot of alcohol with all the taters. Yeah, we definitely could, my guy. But I really want to harvest with course play because it's better. So to me, it's worth kind of taking this time and setting this up the correct way here. Hey, my nose is aggravating today. Need to trim my nose hair, so <laughs> or something, something like that. Okay, check in. Okay, thought of alerts on my cameras. My aunt was outside, always watching. You know, the other way to do this is just grab the harvesters themselves and just drive them through the the tippers which i think i'm gonna do here see the problem is these tippers are these uh, harvesters that's the other option these harvesters go fast so i could through course play slow down the harvesters and that would help me uh that would help me keep them empty a lot a lot you know so that's another option too to slow down the actual harvest itself. <laughs> right, Mrs. Professor?
Don't act like you don't have them, chat. Don't act like you don't have nose hairs. Don't don't give me that. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. You know you do. They're bad when they poke out. <laughs> and, and like you're like, what's tickling me? <laughs> oh yeah. You br oh, oh, oh. God. You brain up new. Ew. That might be the quote of the day right there. <laughs> That's disgusting, my guy. <laughs> you say I'm bad. Oh. Oh. That's just that terrifies small children. Even big children. Even adults. Just no. Just no. Not doing that one, chat. <laughs> Ponytail, huh? <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> oh man. I mean, Trent, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, so now I think I want to set up all the tippers. I think I want to get the tippers going first this time. Uh, thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Uh oh that's a problem that's a problem there's a gas leak inside of a house appreciate that follow by the way oh that was leonard that said that i'm sorry i bad. i thought it was trout jeez i didn't really look sorry Sorry. You guys know I'm terrible with names because I don't like look at the whole thing. I just see like you, first part of your name's not even saying I have no excuse. I'm sorry. I messed up. I was listening to the scanner more than anything, you know. There's an active gas leak inside of a resident. They can hear it and they can smell it inside a residence. And uh, it could be a bit explosive situation, you know. This is where my brother used to live. Actually, one of the places he used to live I'm sorry I'm sorry Leonard I'm sorry <laughs> they I think they like they said something about like they broke uh their water heater or something like something Man. I should have known it was Leonard making fun of me with course play, you know? I should have known, chat. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Look at this trail of tractors, though. How cool is that? <laughs> trail of tractors. There you go, guys. There's your uh, band name Trail of tractors. Oh, man. That's great. Guys, I'm going to have to run the house here in just a minute, by the way. It's 3 o'clock, usually about 3 o'clock on day streams. I try to get up take a break. Sorry, Leonard. Sorry. All right, so... Northern Crew? Maybe? Probably set up a southern crew as well. By the time they drive all the way down there, it's going to be a little real. 
right, we're going to give him lots of straight room this time. Lots of straight room. And actually, I should not have to... I don't have to put a pause point in or anything like that. Should not have to. And actually, I should not have to empty either, but I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and empty while I'm here. You don't actually have to do this when you set up the course. But I'm going to do it. All that fence just comes in like the hammer. <laughs> the hammer. Oh, man. All right. And then we'll just drive right up here. About right there. And that'll work right there. Now, we are going to go ahead and select all those combines. Combines, quote unquote. And I don't think I actually want to start them yet. Because if you guys recall, I want to sort out. I would like to sort as well. So I'm thinking up here will be the base tractors. Okay. All right. We want to sort. Okay. Um, that should be the right course. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, it doesn't matter if I empty this because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell all of them to go to their first waypoint. I gotta set up the harvester part. Okay. All right. So actually, after this, they're empty, which is good. Wait. I really? Oh my god. I know I live in the ghetto, but dude, okay, so here's what happened, right, chat? You ready for this? Gas leak inside of a resident? Somehow, I'm assuming it was I don't know. I don't I'm not gonna assume anything with this call. Somehow a bullet struck the hot water heater and was causing it to leak and like lose gas. A bullet inside of a resident. I know I live in the ghetto, but like, come on, man. Really? What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing here? You know? Like, come on. A bullet? Sweet. And, and of course, the first unit unseen can handle. Everybody else can disregard. They probably just went down there and turned the gas off. You know. Which is all you'd really have to do. Sam. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, let's get the JCB and that vent just out of the way for right now. Out of the way. Alright. Get everything lined up over here, kind of. Ideally, these four tractors here are going to go south. These four tractors are going to stay up here. But before we see if all this is going to work, I'm going to run in the house for just a minute. 